Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Phoebe, and we study A level English language. Hi, guys. So, first of all, why did you choose to study A level English language? Um, I chose to study English language because I loved GCSE English, but I liked, I don't really like all of the deep text analysis, and I like learning to do with. So English language is more than just reading and writing, it's study of linguistics and theories and stuff, which is cool. I came to one of the open days just trying to decide whether to pick English language or English literature and found that I fell in love with the both subjects and ended up taking both of them, so I really enjoyed that. Okay, so in terms of that, what other subjects do you study and where are the links? Um, so I study English language, drama and history and it does all mix together with essay writing. I study English literature, English language and history and there's the history aspect of English language that I really enjoy, like learning where the language has gotten a few of its words from and incorporated it into our language that we speak now and for English literature it just helps with analysing the text I'm reading in English literature which is really good. And how is English language getting you ready for post-18? Well, personally, I'm looking at studying a drama and English or drama and creative writing course at university, so that's really helping me out with the English side of the degree. So, that's, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm studying, or I'm, I'm, but um, I like English language because it can lead you in so many different pathways, like law, uh, journalism, writing, and stuff like that. So I think that's really good. Feels good. What's been your most memorable experience so far in English language? Probably learning right at the beginning. We learned a lot of really cool theories about the way you actually speak. So one of them was accommodation theory, and that's to do with how you change your voice depending on who you're talking to. And it, it's really funny because we now catch ourselves um, listening for it in other people in conversations and without even realising it, you end up analysing your own conversations, which is really cool. Um, what skills do you need to be a successful A-level English language student? <laughs> yeah. um, to, to be a successful English language student, you basically have to be very good at writing notes, like concise and um, knowing exactly what you need to know. Uh, you have to have an English, uh, an interest in how um, language works and develops. You have to be very good at writing essays and happy to write essays. <laughs> that's very, that's very. Um, yeah. So and then you've got to enjoy reading as well, and then having confidence to actually voice your ideas is really important because you end up sometimes teaching the teachers things with the stuff you come up with in your mind, and then also being open to debate your ideas as well because there's a lot of discussion. Okay. What should applicants absolutely know about the course? Um, that the, the subject matter is completely different to English language at GCSE. It's completely, a completely different spectrum, but still just as interesting if you enjoy yeah. it. So it's not just read this and analyse it. It's this, you learn history of English language, you do sociolinguistics, you do language acquisition in children and global language so it's not read a book write about it it's actually learn about the actual language itself rather than just the study of how other people have written it yeah um how would you describe english language using three words okay we thought about this <laughs> yeah. um interesting thought provoking and there's never a wrong answer i didn't know how to put that in one word <laughs> Um, and do you have any other sort of closing remarks, anything else that I think applicants should know? Uh, keep an open mind when looking at the course because it is different from GCSE. A lot of people write it off just based on the GCSE, but definitely actually look at the course content because you'll find yourself, oh, I found myself really interested by it when I thought that I wasn't going to like it at all. So I thought that um, it was quite different the stuff that we studied but I found I really enjoyed it when at the beginning I thought it was a bit oh am I going to enjoy this but I, I'm really enjoying it now especially focusing focuses on um, accents and development in children because you never really look at a child and go oh how are you speaking and why are you speaking like that whereas now I would if I was having a conversation with a child I would analyze what they're speaking which is 
very interesting.